when you do these on a bath tap, no point putting these taps on if you've got mains pressure on the coal and your hot spent from the tank. It will never balance. In this system, we've got cold water fed from the tank, hot water fed from the tank, they're going to balance, so we can evenly balance out. It's worth putting this on because it's going to work. But don't bother unless you've got either a convict boiler, the hot and the mains coal is also the same pressure and never balance out. So just a word of warning, don't waste your time doing it if you've got cold mains and your hot water is fed off a hot water cylinder, they won't balance up. Now, we want that shower to be sort of middle of the bar, so we're doing it that way round. That'll be probably best about here actually. Yeah, so I need the spirit level just to uh, level this up. Well, and Rob's going to get me one. That looks like it. Now it's still a little bit out. That's it. Okay, we're level finally. Um, we're putting this up as it is now. I know we really should have tiles on the wall really, but we want to get this shower up and running, so we're going to do the tiling later. Okay, but we're going to screw this up for now, make sure that's level. I always put that up and try and get the shower head centre with the centre of the bath tap down below. You know then it's roughly in line with the middle of the bath. Okay, so now I've got to do this. Yeah, they go in. Easy. So put your pipes in. Once you drill the holes, you want to bore you drilling the holes, but there we are. Plugs in is to get all the plates on. So, what we need to do is get that one. So, dish. Now, you are supposed to have this for the hat hose to go through to stop it from dripping down into the bath, but although that is a requirement, a requirement these days to stop the hose dropping down and siphoning back, um, I don't like them. Um, we like to get the hose down so you can wash your hair. Uh, and even the hose the bath out and if you have this on it stops that from happening because the hose is meant to go through this and link onto the shower head and it means you can't pull it down so I know you shouldn't but leave it off <laughs> okay get your shower disc on get that back on we're ready to get the, the thing screwed to the wall yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're just getting started up on the wall get him at the right angles okay I'm going to cut the screws and Get the little posy driver. Uh, what we've got to that one to do, get the right tool get in there. Okay, I always find it best to stand in the bath doing these jobs and get the screws in here, get that one lined up, start it, and get the top one lined up and start them in. Okay. You need to screw it in these by hand like I'm doing. A bit of muscle on them. It's a lot easier if you've got a screwdriver, an electric screwdriver with a bit in it. And you do this. And in that goes. That's one. Here goes the second one. We've got the look of ash shower now with the end caps. They just slide in position up there like that. We'll lock in. Same with the top one, which slides down and locks in. Ah, now we have a problem. This is going to slide down because that piece of wood browser. We're going to leave it off until the bath is tiled um, and then hopefully we can just push it straight back on. Other than that, it's just a matter now of fitting the shower straight in the holder like that. And uh, that's the end of the job, really. That's it. Screw that up where you want it. And uh, job finish.